So I'm here with Jeanette, Super Cup teammates, Jamie Orson and Charlie Robertson. So Jamie, you've just uh, done your first uh, race of the weekend, one of two races uh, today. You went from third to fifth, so not quite uh, the progression you would have wanted, but it's still good points. Yeah, uh, no, I went backwards, which is always a shame. But um, to be honest with you, it was just a very difficult race. And, um, you know, we're in not a bad position for race two. So all in all, can't complain. And um, things are looking up for Charlie, which is obviously the... Uh, the main thing for the weekend, I think, really. Um, I'm just kind of uh, finishing off what's been quite a lacklustre year and uh, probably thinking about next year. So. Now, uh, you're a new addition to the uh, HHC uh, team. What, what sort of provoked this, just to, to join sort of halfway through the season? Yeah, I thought I needed some help. Um, so I thought I'd come in and, uh, you know, give them a few points as well, my experience. No, uh, to be honest, I was struggling, um, you know, a little bit and I'd had a few rounds where I was... You know, not at a level where I thought I should be, and uh, HHC had come in and done a fantastic job from the off. Um, really, a, you know, Brands was the first race weekend. They did a pretty good job, and then it just got better from then on in. And I thought, if they can get a handle on the car that quickly, then um, then they must be doing something right. So, you know, and I knew I, I wanted to work with Charlie as well. I think Charlie's got, uh, very, very talented and he's got a long future ahead of him in motorsport. I thought it'd be good for me to be against him and see uh, see how I stack up. And obviously, I've beaten him twice now in qualifying. So, uh, actually, I think he's quite not as quite as good as I thought, first thought. <laughs> now, you uh, speak of battling him. You had a nice little battle between between us two, uh, yeah. yourself in that race. Yeah, Charlie got me fair and square. You know, it was, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm 34 and maybe I'm a bit, bit getting a bit old <laughs> and break too early. So, uh, he got me down into Paddock and um, fair's fair. You know, he's, he's a good overtaker, that's for sure. That's why he's leading the championship. One of the, one of the reasons, sorry. Now, uh, Charlie, you've uh, obviously just done your first race. It wasn't quite the qualifying you would have wanted, but you did uh, move up the grid, you got yourself into the podium, and more important, your uh, championship rival didn't quite fare too much luck. Yeah, I mean, after quality, obviously, I was a little bit disappointed. Uh, but coming to this weekend, you know, I just knew I had to get points and stay consistent. Uh, and then, obviously, I got a good start in the race and uh, held my own. Um, you know, made it up to fifth at the end of the first lap when Breeze uh, had a problem. I'm not sure what happened, but, uh, yeah, that was obviously... Kind of went my, my went my way a little bit, and then uh, and I got past uh, Oliphant as well. Um, and obviously, the safety car came out, and I was I was behind Jamie, and I sort of thought, you know, maybe I should uh, try something going into the first corner. And I, I maybe thought he might break a little bit early, and I'd done a switchback move that I've done before, and it and it and it paid off, which was really good. Now, um, obviously, uh, your championship rival uh, did ha have a little bit of a problem, which means that you now only have to finish uh, eighth. In, in your uh, next race, uh, is this of bearing in mind you've gone from single seaters to a tin top uh, going into this yeah. season? Was this really what you expected coming into the final round? No, I didn't. I didn't think I was going to be in, you know winning this championship this year. Uh, I thought you know there's a lot of experienced drivers, and you know I thought it'd be a, be a bit of a sort of maybe a four-way battle uh, between you know maybe David. Uh, Andrew and, and Carl really and then you know once I sort of got a rhythm going uh, it just sort of all sort of fell into place a little bit if that makes sense and then yeah and then now I'm here the final round you know don't have to do too much to tr take the championship and you know I've just got to keep my head down concentrate on myself and hope that I'll be enough. Now uh, the weather today has been very mixed at that so to speak you got a race um, later on today uh, the re the weather looks like it's still going to be unpredictable. It's not really for a driver what you would want to, want to be looking for, especially uh, if you're going to have to change your setup. Uh, yeah, exactly. I mean, it's it's probably going to be dark as well. I'm I'm pretty sure of it. I mean, it's raining now. It's going to be you know we've got five just after five thirty when we actually start, and you know so it's going it's going to be a dark one. I mean, um, these cars don't have headlights, so it might be a little bit uh, a little bit scary towards the end. But you know, I was uh, yeah, it'll be a good race, and it's not too difficult. You know, well as a racing driver, you want one thing or the other. You want you want it to be full wet or full dry. I mean, when it's in between and you don't know what setup to go on, it's always it's always tricky, and you're always sort of pulling your hair out a little bit, trying to work out what you actually want to do. But um, you know, HHC always you know always do a good job, and and you know we always discuss things on on the car before we before we go out and and you know go to the track. So hopefully we'll be uh, we'll be competitive in race two. Now, Jamie, are you looking forward to your uh, midnight race? Yeah, um, it's going to be dark. I mean, again, the age thing is a bit of an issue because my eyes are going. Um, <laughs> but. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, 5:30. Um, I think it's going to be wet, uh, so we'll just try and um, tomorrow's reverse grid. Obviously, try and try and make sure we're in a good position for the re reverse grid. Um, see if we can try and get you know near the front for that and finish off in style like last year. Okay, thank you very much for your time, Jamie and Charlie, and uh, good luck for race two later today. Thank you. Thank you.